Shaper Trace is a fun product that instantly digitizes drawings. I made a little gadget to help make the drawings to digitize. I call my gadget the Tracer for Shaper Trace, and this is a build video on how to make the gadget, the Tracer. If you are interested in building this, there is a link in the description for plans, which include the CNC files, and a very detailed PDF that goes into the build. This video is really just going to be the highlights of the build. I think the PDF is a better guide. So you start with a block of wood. Dimensions are all in that PDF project I mentioned. I used an L fence on my table saw to cut the block of wood into a triangle. The exact dimensions don't matter that much, so I just sort of guessed here it was going to be, you know, half the block. Uh, of wood, but if I'm off an eighth of an inch on this, it really doesn't matter for this project. There are a couple of things that, that are critical um, on the measurement and, and getting those right um, with the placement of some items on this, and, and I will mention those as I go through the video. The project includes an alignment jig that gets cut out of um, just scrap plywood. I'm cutting that on my Shaper Origin. The jig is going to be used to align the block, the triangular block I showed earlier, um, for a couple of critical cuts, the most critical being the slot that the pen is going to go through. So here's how that um, alignment jig fits into the triangular block. To cut the pen slot, you set up the triangular block using the jig on the workstation as I've shown in this photo. The left hand edge is vertical and the corner of the block is just level with the top of the workstation. One of the critical measurements is for the pen slot. I'm going to use an engraving bit to make a hybrid grid, so I'll touch twice on the outside of that block and then once right on the corner of the block um, using the hybrid grid method. You ought to look that up on the Shaper website if you don't know how to do a hybrid grid. With the file that's included in the project, um, if you make your hybrid grid, you can place a, um, a hole right where I had that little mark in the prior video. Then you take uh, the longest bit you've got on your Shaper Origin and helix in that hole as far as you can. That'll place it quite accurately. Once you've got that hole helixed in as far as you can, um, you're gonna drill it the rest of the way through with a drill bit. The hole that you made with the Shaper Origin will keep the drill bit straight and you'll have a nice straight hole going all the way through the block. You need to drill uh, entirely um, through it. After you drill all the way through, there'll be a little bit of shaping to do on the block just using kind of regular Shaper Origin um, uh, procedures and the files are all included in that project. Um, after you've um, shaped the block, you'll take it over to the drill press using the same alignment jig and line it up to drill the hole for a threaded insert. The threaded insert will be used to keep the pen in place in the, drill, in the pen slot. So that's where the threaded insert's going to go and it's going to be perpendicular to the pen slot that'll hold the pen in. And here I'm setting it up using the setup block, the same alignment jig on the drill press so I can drill the pilot hole for that um, threaded insert. You need to drill it all the way through to the pen slot, but you don't need to go further than the pen slot. I've just got a, a depth gauge mark. Now once you've drilled that um, pilot hole, leave it uh, the block all set up on your drill press because you can use the drill press to start the threaded insert. Basically you're going to cut the head off a bolt um, and thread a bolt and a nut and a washer onto the threaded insert. You will then chuck that assembly into your drill press chuck. Tighten it down really good because it's going to want to slip and then not with the motor but turning the chuck by hand while you put a little bit of pressure on the quill, you can get that drill, um, you can get that threaded insert started, and this will keep it nice and straight. Once you have it a couple of turns, you can loosen the chuck and just take the thing over to a vise to complete the installation of the threaded insert. 
So I'm holding some down pressure on the quill. I'm gonna keep that down pressure on the quill and when I um, loosen the chuck, I'm gonna take the chuck key up there in a second, loosen the chuck. I don't wanna let up loose on that down pressure because I don't wanna pull the threaded insert out of the thread. Um, but there I go, now it's loose and now I can just take the whole thing over to a vise and finish it. There's a couple of parts to be cut from acrylic. One is for the um, uh, foot and one is for a feeler that goes in the front. You need to use cell cast acrylic if you're gonna get nice cuts um, from the Shaper Origin. It cuts really well. Um, so this is the foot. I don't show on this video, but you need to tap the outside um, part of the feet. And again, all the sizes for the taps are in that project file. This is the feeler. Uh, it's another piece of cell cast acrylic. You can see I've got a couple of holes in that that will be used to align it on that triangular block. This is the next critical part, probably the last critical part of the build. You need to cut a slot right dead center on that block. Um, and that's going to allow you to line up the feeler. That was that piece of red plastic that I showed a second ago into that slot on the block. And by cutting this slot right in the center of the block, um, the pen slot and the feeler will be exactly aligned. So the pen will end up being exactly aligned with that feeler. So here I am just cutting it on the, um, not the hypotenuse, but the long um, right angle of the triangle and cutting it you know, just a little bit more than an inch deep. Next step is to attach the foot. I've already tapped it. As you can see, I've got my little um, um, nuts in there that are going to be used to adjust the thing. And then I'm just marking it for some pilot holes to attach that foot. I'm just doing this, you know, not I'm not using my shaper origin for this. I'm just doing this on a vise with a, um, just a hand drill. The placement of the foot isn't super critical because those knurled bolts um, that are threaded into the acrylic give it a lot of adjustability, so you don't have to worry too much about exactly where you place the foot. You can really use kind of whatever screws you've got on hand. I think I used call for number eights on the project, but I think I actually used number 10 because that's what I had. It doesn't really matter, just as long as you get that foot, you know, fairly straight. Not super critical, though. Um, I then uh, took a block plane, you know, before I actually attached the foot and just, you know, planed a little chamfer in the front of the block. That's where you can see the slot where the feeler is going to go. And I just, you know, wanted to relieve that a little bit so it fits in corners of whatever objects you're tracing. So, I, again, this isn't critical. You don't have to have an exact camphor down to a certain size, just, you know, kind of whatever looks reasonable. You'll see that front slot is kind of aligned right straight down the middle. Um, that's the slot where you put the feeler. Um, you can use a little uh, nail to align the holes on it, and then it gets attached with these five millimeter um, steel dowels again you know in the project i actually give links to where to buy all this stuff before you attach the feet i suggest you thread the knurled bolt in the um, threaded insert that's what holds the pen in place you want to put that in before you attach the feet because you might not fit otherwise there's a couple of just lock nuts again they're knurled nuts on the top of those feet um, there's not a lot of stress on it. I don't know if you really need the lock nuts. Probably could get away without them, but I don't know. They look kind of nice. So this is the whole thing all together, and what you want to do is get that um, feeler nice and straight up and down perpendicular, and the tip of the pen aligned with the front of the feeler. So that's it on the project. Um, if you make one of these, shoot me a comment and send me a picture of it. I'd love to see it. Um, and uh, I do invite you to uh, like this video if you liked it, and of course to subscribe to my channel. I've got you know lots of other workshop stuff. Some of it is very you know related to the Shaper Origin. I like that tool. I use it a lot. But I've also got other uh, workshop tools, hand tools, power tools, and what have you that we do a lot of features on. Um, so you can see I'm just adjusting those in. You know, if you wanted to use a thicker piece of acrylic, I use 316 there, and, you know, like quarter inch might give the, um, 
the threads a little bit more bite. I think this works okay and there's not a lot of stress on it, but it might be nicer to have a thicker one. Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you back here soon. Bye.